All banana and plantain farmers here are being encouraged to follow the instructions of the Banana Services Unit to protect their crops. Minister of Agriculture Samoto Caesar is urging farmers to use good farming practices. He noted that while the crown, crown shawl level is down to 2.2, which is good news, continuing good farming practices is needed to control the black cigatoka disease in SVG. Central America is currently under attack. And some 25 million boxes in Central America had to be taken off the market because of black cigatoka. What this has the potential of doing is creating a, an increased demand for bananas on the market. And that is why in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, the Ministry of Agriculture and the government of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, we have noted clearly that we are going to stand steadfast behind the banana industry. We know from time to time, especially when you're dealing with a dreaded disease like the black cigatoka disease, that there will be ups and there will be downs. However, there's something to be said about persons who give up very easily, especially when it's a down time. <laughs> and that's definitely not the spirit of the Minister of Agriculture nor the spirit that is being exuded from the Ministry. Caesar says the government is going to stand behind and work with banana farmers in SVG to ensure that in the period of 2013, farmers will receive their fair share of benefits from the banana accompanying measures. I want to continue to encourage the farmers of St. Vincent and the Grenadines that we have a very significant and key role to play in the development of our country. During this year, we have seen a significant increase in poultry production and several organizations are established significantly they are in need of capacity building and that is why we are selling for 2013 an increase in the level and the functionality of cooperatives and capacities to be built in these cooperatives to ensure that both farmers and farm workers will continue to benefit the Ministry of Agriculture, of Agriculture, we are going to ensure that our doors are always open. We want farmers to continue to work very closely with the Ministry because without this partnership, the sector is not going to receive the types of benefits that we will be able to receive if we work together. Meanwhile, Caesar is commending, is commending his staff in the ministry for their hard work and at the same time warning them of more challenges ahead. According to Caesar, there is significant work to be done in the sector and very important projects to be worked on for 2013. Caesar also said some staff members in the ministry could expect some changes of work area. The issue of the decentralization of the ministry is one that I will be speaking about at, at the budget this year because I am still of the firm belief that without a strategic decentralization of the Ministry of Agriculture, we will not be able to have the farmers outreach programs and to monitor the, the progress that we are making and we will not be able to put in place the corrective measures within a short space of time to benefit the industry if we do not decentralize the ministry in the period of 2013. I will be seeking the advice of the cabinet and also seeking the advice of, of the services commission as to how we can best conduct this exercise because it will definitely mean that some persons will have to be relocated out, outside of Kingstown. I have always noted sometimes even in jest that we have some of the most talented staff members in Kingstown in the center of the capital where we have the least farming being conducted.